When we mention Black Friday, images of crowded malls and discounted products may spring to mind. But before it became synonymous with the post-Thanksgiving shopping frenzy, Black Friday referred to a notorious gold scandal in the 19th century. In the 19th century, America's financial landscape was vastly different. The gold system was the backbone of the economy, and the stock market held significant influence. Two ruthless financial masterminds, Jay Gould and Jim Fisk, were notorious for their unscrupulous tactics to amass wealth. Gould was known for his cunning strategies and was once dubbed the Mephistopheles of Wall Street. His audacious ambition led him to target the US financial system itself, specifically the gold market. However, Gould's gold market manipulation plan had one major obstacle, President Ulysses S. Grant. The president's policy of using gold to buy greenbacks from the public effectively controlled the price of gold, posing a significant challenge to Gould's scheme. Undeterred, Gould enlisted the help of Abel Corbin, a former Washington bureaucrat and brother-in-law to President Grant. Corbin was bribed to ensure the government remained oblivious to their scheme and to influence the president's stance on gold prices. Their manipulation and bribery paid off. In early September, President Grant revealed he had no plans to sell government reserves that month. With this information, Gould and his team intensified their gold stockpiling efforts, driving the price of gold even higher. However, as the gold market tightened, brokers and gold short sellers pleaded with the government to intervene. Unbeknownst to them, Gould and Fisk had amassed a staggering 60 million in gold, three times the public supply in New York. Just as Gould and Fisk continued their gold buying spree, President Grant discovered their scheme. Unaware of this development, Gould and Fisk remained confident, with Gould even boasting that gold prices would soon reach $200 apiece. In an effort to dismantle Gould and Fisk's scheme, President Grant and the Treasury Secretary decided to flood the gold market with four million in sales. This decision not only loosened Gould and Fisk's grip on the market, but also sent Wall Street into chaos. The aftermath of the Treasury's decision was devastating. Trade halted, thousands of investors went bankrupt, and the value of wheat and corn harvests plummeted. Despite the widespread economic damage, Gould and Fisk managed to escape with little to no consequences, making the Black Friday gold scandal an unforgettable chapter in American financial history. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.